And don't tell me ladies aren't competitive. The rubber duckers. And of course the WI Extreme Sports. Now the Cam Football and Cricket Club seem to be taking a particularly interesting route. Proud team people waiting may well be exceeded. Look at them taking down. Come on, Los Padalos. Yeah, that's the one we Nelsworth Rotary are just realigning themselves. Come on, ladies, you can do it. All's in together, and you're going a straight line. Well done. <laughs> and they're heading down the canal very well indeed. I think you all have to agree that the crews really have performed so well and the standard of the actual oarsmanship or oarswomanship as the case may be has been quite a spectacle for everyone. I've been corrected, my paddle ship, not my oar ship. Come on, ladies. Why is a battle going on? The canals are heading back towards us. There's the Stroud team, the Rubber Duckers, the Nailsworth ladies, the Maiden Voyagettes. And of course the double line extreme sports on Los Padalos. They seem pretty well matched from where I'm standing. How do you feel? Jets and WI Extreme Sports. Come on, Maiden Roy Jets. That's it, in together. Well done. Meanwhile, fast approaching the line is the rubber duckers on the Stroud Raft. The second place is going to be very hard fought indeed. Well, how about that? I've not seen an oars person or helm person paddling before. Is that allowed, Mr. Mr. Judge? Two, four, six, eight, nine oars people on one raft? I think they're about to hit the jetty. <laughs> two teams. It's the Maiden Voyagettes and the WI Extreme. Come along, give them a good cheer, come on. <laughs> come on, come on, it's going to be very, very close. Keep going, keep going. Whoa. What a close finish. Thank you ladies, a really exciting finish there. Second place did in fact go to the WI Extreme Sports. And third place, and very well earned, to the Maiden Voyagettes from Nailsworth. Well done, ladies. One